Hello, my name is Olabindi and I welcome you to another episode of Before You Take the Stage. Don't forget that we are in the chapter 5, uh, which is Do Not Fall for Potiphar's Wife. And on this particular episode, we're looking into another heading which says Gehaz fell for it. It's found in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 20 to 27. Now, you should have the understanding of why it is important for you not to fall for it. Uh, Gehaz actually fell for it. He fell for the Potiphar's wife. And what happened? Don't forget that Naaman was a leper. And um, after being persuaded by one of his servants, uh, he had to uh, be sent for to prophet Elisha. Elisha, even without seeing him, instructed him to go and take his bath seven times in the river Jordan. And after he obeyed and did it, he was he was made clean. Means that the, lep- uh, the leprosy left him. And he was so happy about what happened to him and decided to also present a gift to the prophet. But the prophet rejected it. But he, has not, he was not too sensitive enough. If he was very sensitive and has acquired, has acquired knowledge about the things of God, he wouldn't have actually fell for it. He went to meet Naaman after Naaman has actually left Elisha. And he went to meet with him and lied and said that the prophet said that he should give him whatever that he actually wanted to give him at first. And not only that, uh, he never knew that God has also spoken with uh, Prophet Elisha. And when Gehaz also went back to Prophet Elisha, he also lied. And that actually cost him a lot. Instead of him to receive the blessings from Prophet Elisha, but he was cursed. He was not cursed and he was afflicted with the leprosy. Not only him, but with also his children. It is very important for you to understand that falling for, for the Potiphar's wife is not only limited to you alone when it comes to consequences. The consequences also extend to family, and that is what is actually originating in some people now, people's life now, when they will tell them that they are facing one family battle or the other. It is because what they have, what their fathers has actually done was not only um, affecting their fathers, but was extending to their generations. So it is also expected of you that you ensure that you try all possible means to ensure that you don't fall for Potiphar's wife. Better still, call on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is always there to help you out. And the Holy Spirit is always there to comfort you. The power and the strength for you to resist the Potiphar's wife. I pray God bestowed upon you in the name of Jesus. And your life will not end up as that of Gehaz. Thank you very much for always uh, following my videos, for the likes, for the comments, for the shares. I pray God help you. Amen.